Now for today's bar chart, why is the world's key trade gauge slumping? This is the Baltic Dry Index. Never done this before on the bar chart. It's a first. It measures shipping costs for commodities, coal, iron ore and grains. And put simply, this is a key barometer of global trade. And it goes all the way back to 1985, before Anna was born. Now on Wednesday, <laughs> it fell to a record low, the bottom right of your screen, of 500 and 53 points, which is one point lower than the previous record. Go to the far left hand of your screen now, that very small yellow circle. That was set in July and August 1986. It's actually, interestingly, now lower than the levels reached in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis, which is towards the right of your screen, that red circle there, when it troughed at 774 points following a, look at that slide, that's a 92% slide in six months from the middle of 08 to the end of 2008. That high, by the way, was when the index was at 9,589 points. Now, the reason for the new record, A, a fleet glut and signs of slowing demand of cargoes to China. On the first point, the capacity of the global fleet of dry bulk ships has expanded 60% in the last five years. On the second point, China, which of course buys half of the world's coal and iron ore cargoes, it's forecast to expand this year at the slowest pace since 1990. And the world's largest shipbroker, Clarkson, estimates that China's imports of coal fell last year and growth in its iron ore buying is slowing as well. So what happens now. Hamish Norton, who's president of Athens-based Star Bulk, says we anticipate the market can only improve from here as chartering rises after the Chinese New Year. And Eric Stavseth, he's an analyst at Arctic Securities in Oslo, he concurs and he's pretty confident the market is going to move higher over the course of the year. So there you go. It's not every day we do the Baltic Dry Index here on my bar chart. History was made on Wednesday, January the 11th, 2015.